feeling really sad today because today is the death anniversary to Arya Cole, whom I only met one time, but died 38 years ago in the first war in Lebanon. So I want to sing him the song, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? Young girls have picked them, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the young girls gone? Long time passing. Where have all the young girls gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young girls gone? Gone to young men, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the young men gone? Long time passing. Where have all the young men gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young men gone? Gone to the soldiers, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the soldiers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the soldiers gone? Long, long time ago. Where have all the soldiers gone? Gone to graveyards, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the graveyards gone? Long time passing. Where have all the graveyards gone? Long time ago. Where have all the graveyards gone? Gone to flowers, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? So, um, I want to say a few words about Arya Kaur. Um, I can't believe that 30 years passed. It seems just like yesterday I met him at a movie theater, just one time. And he was a beautiful, handsome, joyful, 19-year-old young paratrooper wearing his uniform. He just came home from the army and we just met and... We talked briefly, and then somehow we ended up speaking for hours on the phone. And he promised to come to see the ceremony, the parade, a ceremony of the basic training, army basic training, uh, because I was supposed to go into the army in December. And we met in November. I was supposed to be drafted into the army in December. And uh, it was a very harsh winter that year. It was raining a lot. Um, the whole month, it was really difficult. Basic training with lots of rain. It was a very cold year. And the parade was canceled due to the heavy rain. So I came home after completing my basic training. And... My friend called and told me that Arya had been killed. So I remember the feeling of disbelief and still now I cannot understand how this could happen. How such an amazing guy, full of life, so full of joy and such a giving soul could be killed. Uh, he was only 19 years old. His grandmother survived concentration camps. And um, 
I cannot even imagine the, the depth of the grief to lose uh, a grandson after all she's been through, coming to Israel after the war, uh, starting a new life, and then uh, paying the price of uh, losing uh, a beloved grandson. They lost a beloved son and brother. And for me, it was my first experience with the death of a young person. My father just recently passed away. He was also re relatively young, but 19 year old, almost my age, being killed. Um, And the only, the only thought was why. And 38 years later, I still don't have an answer. But all I know is that we must do everything possible to prevent wars and violence and to try to make sure that the young people have a future in a peaceful place and it's time to end violent conflicts and to celebrate life and not to bury young men and women whatever army you are at, and especially to, to stop this continual non-ending cycle of pain and loss. So I didn't go to the cemetery today. Uh, we have lockdown and um, I also didn't find the strength to go, but I thought I would dedicate the song to him, and I also dedicated another song in a Hebrew dedication. And I really feel I need to say some words because I can imagine it must be difficult to lose somebody you know, but this is dedicated to all those people who lost somebody they only just met, starting a friendship, starting to speak to someone, getting to know someone and then having them taken away before that even was possible, before you could even get to know the person. And all I knew of him was just so beautiful and so much joy and so much love towards other human beings and towards animals. And I think we need, we have a duty to keep that memory alive and to speak about people that we have just met and lost and speak about the experience of loss and speak about the need to create a peaceful world where young men are not buried in graveyards, young men are not killed in battle or in attack or however he was killed that a parent shouldn't have to bury their, their son um, a grandmother shouldn't have to bury her grandson and no one no one should have to die um, through a violent conflict and so everybody peace line love and let's remember Alia today and uh, let his memory remind us that we need we need to live in peace thank you for listening to this dedication